And it's recovered by the Cowboys. Big time hit. Oh my gosh. Is that beautiful? <laughs> All right. Join us right now at the breakfast table is a player who has made back-to-back -back Pro Bowls. He's amassed over 25 sacks in the past two seasons, helping anchor one of the best defenses in the NFL. Fresh off of a huge division win on Sunday night football, please welcome Cowboys defensive end, Demarcus Lawrence to the Thanks. Bill. What's up, gang? How y'all doing? What's, What's up, up baby? Good, brother. How you doing, man? Hey, listen, man, we'll get to you in a, in a, in a bit, but I want to talk about this big deal that your team just made. Y'all picked up Michael Bennett. Mm -hmm. He's an absolute monster, a Super Bowl champ. He's going to help this defense, help this squad. What'd you make about that move? Oh, man, I think it was an excellent move. Um, you know, I wish the, the team would have told me that he was making this move while I was on the plane. So um, we got the news late last night, but... Um, just to have that type of energy, um, that type of player come to the team is tremendous. So, ready for him. I'm glad that you're welcoming him with open arms. I'm going to talk about another relationship that you have uh, ongoing with a Philadelphia Eagle named Lane Johnson. Uh, you had some back and forth with him in the offseason on Twitter. During this most recent game, you beat him for a strip sack. Then you two seem to, you know, hang out after the game a little bit. Can you describe your relationship with Lane Johnson? Yeah, um... You know, just to have a guy um, on your rival team to bring that competitive edge out of you um, is much respect to Lane, um, you know, much respect to the Philadelphia Eagles. But, you know, you, you need that sometimes because um, the season is long. It can get uh, very rigorous. and um, you know, Is it just, real? Is it real or is it like playful sort of banter? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't think nothing on Twitter is real. Um, I don't never, That's facts. Yeah, I don't never look at nothing on Twitter real. Um, so uh, I, I can say it's playful, but um, between those lines and no playing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Talk about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> DeMarcus, Nate just hyped you up, and, and, and you guys played the, the Eagles last week. Mm -hmm. Obviously, in the division, there's always a lot of hype. Right. There, there was a little hype between you and Dougie P. The, the head coach. Take us through that and how all that went that, down. That's his name now, Dougie P. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, yeah, uh, you know, I just heard from the media, um, you know, about all the – he's going to, you know, come down here and beat us. Um, you're guaranteeing a win. And, you know, you can't guarantee nothing in the NFL. Um, everybody's good. Um, everybody's a pro. And you have to approach that every week, week in and week out um, as that. So uh, for him to, you know, boost his team's ego or even to boost his own ego, I – feel like um, that was false. So, you know, sometimes when people are wrong, you have to, you know, correct them and put them in their place. So You got to show that it was false. Uh, Absolutely. We're talking about coaches. Let's talk about one of yours real quick. Rod Marinelli, your defensive coordinator. He's also your D-line coach. Uh -huh. Talk, t Give him some love and tell us what he's like. Yeah, uh, just his manly approach to the game and um, understanding that you, you need real men to play this game. Um, that's going to be committed. That's going to be confident. And that can, you know, really have that mindset of concentrating for three hours straight in order to mm -hmm. win a game. Because, um, you know, it's, it's hard, you know, being in the classroom as a young person, 30 minutes. And then you can't, you really not talk uh, to concentrate for so long. So um, mm -hmm. just to have him uh, right by our side and to... Make sure that we're on these things each and every day is Keeping it fresh. good for us. That hey, so. we're on the NFL Network. Obviously, there's other networks. We talk about a lot of pass rushers. We talk about the Bosa brothers. Yep. talk about J.J. Watt. Yep, we yep. talk about Fletcher Cox and Aaron Donald. Your name doesn't come up that much. Mm -hmm. Do you feel you're underrated and disrespected by the media as far as best pass rushers in all of football? Well, that's their opinion. Um, I, don't, I don't live off other people's opinions. I live off, you know, my agenda. So um, just let them feel how they want to feel, but they're going to remember my name. They're going to remember your name. Listen, you're making your mark, uh, and I can tell that you dress fresh, but you got a little jewelry on that I want to talk about. Mm -hmm. Now, you got that Snickers chain on that's given to a player, the hungriest player for each week, right? right. And that was made by the legendary jeweler Ben Baller. Right. Um, so how does it feel to wear that around your neck and, and kind of show the people real quick, you know, at the camera, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There it is right here. Here you go, camera right here. That, and that's <laughs> real right I'm there, right? Oh, oh, real diamonds. Um. So that's given to somebody hey, every week. Inside. Oh, okay. It's given to somebody every That's week. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's given to um, a new player every week um, for being the hungriest player of the week. Huh? So I, I feel like, you know, they blessed me with the chain. Um, I, I guess they seen the hunger in my eyes during the game. So, um, but, you know, every week it's, it's given out. 
And um, if you want to just stay up to date with it, you can just look at, at Snickers on social. Nice. Or if you want to see me rocking it some more, you know. Hey. Well, I feel like you're not going to give looking. that thing back. No, I don't think so. Don't think <laughs> so. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers Absolutely. are the perfect Halloween treat candy. It's awesome that you're on a bye week. You have plenty of time to plan your costume. I understand. Rumor has it you're throwing a bit of a party for Halloween. So can you talk, talk to me through the costume situation, what that all entails? Yes. Um, so costume. I think we're going with Beauty and the Beast. Love it. Ah. Since, since we're hosting, we have to, you know, be prince and princess. Right. Um, you know, but at the end of the night... Um, <laughs> Here's a I'm, costume change. It's a costume change. Word. After hours, what do we got? Yeah, uh, I think we're going with Coming to America. Hey! I yeah. like that right prince there. Prince, prince of Zamunda? Prince of it is you! Yes. So you're a big Halloween guy. Yes, a uh, huge Halloween guy. Um, you know, just to see the joy on kids' face, they get to dress up, um, be their favorite superhero, or et cetera. Um, you know, it's, it's nice to see uh, pass out candy, get in the spirit, um, yeah. so it's pretty cool. I'm looking at this chain, and I see, the, you know, it's obviously shimmering. The Dallas Cowboys have not won a Super Bowl since 1995. Mm -hmm. What would it mean for you, Demarcus Lawrence, and that Dallas Cowboys team that you're with right now to bring that Lombardi trophy back to Jerry Jones? Oh, I mean, the world, um, you know, just to take that pressure and stress off our shoulders. Um, I had one person tell me the hardest thing in life to do is to raise a family and to win a, a championship. Mm. Mm. You know, and um, to be able to, you know, showcase that all in, you know, this little bit of time, um, it'll be amazing. All right, now, you got paid? Yes, sir. Jalen Smith got paid. Mm -hmm. Zeke got paid. Dak Prescott, mm -hmm. in my opinion, is one of the best quarterbacks in the business. Why hasn't he got paid yet? Uh, I mean, we make jokes around the locker room that I don't took all the money. Yeah, you did, fam. <laughs> and you was the first one. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. You're like, it's hey, March, I'm taking money. That's that, that's amazing. hungry right now. He needs yeah. stickers. Yeah, for sure. Um, no, we're we going to let him, you know, keep playing hungry. Um, I, I feel like, you know, Dak has come along and, you know, he's been tremendous for our football team over the last couple of years. And, um. I feel like when his time comes, he's going to get paid. Does he deserve to make 35 plus million a year? Don't every quarterback make 35 plus million a year? Okay, that's, that's, that's all, all I need to hear. We're just talking about championship. Can Dak do that? Can he bring that cha championship home? Well, uh, one thing y'all missing the point on is <laughs> offenses just don't win championships. Talk about okay, it. Okay, okay. Defense wins championships. You know, um, depending on you know how we approach the game and uh, – give Dak more opportunities to score touchdowns or to make those plays, yeah, we're going to win. But it's all about, you know, the defense applying the pressure and getting the ball back to his offense. Well said. Hey, like thank you so much for joining us, man. Enjoy your time off. You the man, bro. I appreciate it, Did brother. you bring some you bars? To Marcus Lawrence, everybody. <laughs> I got you in the back. <laughs> Not those bars. Like oh, Snickers bars, bars or like yeah. bars? Oh, rat bars. The bars you can eat. Yeah, okay. these yeah, bars. There you go. These bars, all right. There he is at Snickers for all of that. Follow Demarcus Lawrence. Enjoy New York. Beautiful oh, view you. here. Great job, man.